The graph below is the function f of x. We're asked to determine the limits and also determine the equations of the vertical and horizontal asymptotes. First, we have the limit of f of x as x approaches negative one. Let's begin by sketching a vertical line at x equals negative one. For the limit to exist, we must be approaching the same function value from the left and right of x equals negative one. As we approach x equals negative one from the left, notice how the function values decrease without bound. As we approach x equals negative one from the right, once again, the function values decrease without bound. Since the function values approach negative infinity from the left and right of x equals negative one, we do indicate the limit of f of x as x approaches negative one approaches negative infinity. Now negative infinity is not a real number, so technically this indicates the limit doesn't exist, but because the function values are decreasing without bound, as we approach negative one from the left and right, we do indicate negative infinity. Next, we have the limit of f of x as x approaches two. Let's get to vertical line at x equals two. As we approach x equals two from the left, or values less than two, notice how the function values decrease without bound. And as we approach x equals two from the right, or values greater than two, Notice how the function values increase without bound. Because we're not approaching the same function value from the left and right, the limit does not exist. Which means we enter DNE. Next, we have the limit of f of x as x approaches infinity. As x approaches infinity, we are moving to the right along the function. The horizontal axis is the x-axis, where positive infinity is to the right, negative infinity is to the left. As we move to the right along the graph and x approaches positive infinity, we can see the function values approach zero, which is the value of the limit. The limit of f of x as x approaches infinity equals zero. Next, we have the limit of f of x as x approaches negative infinity. So now we're moving left along the graph as x approaches negative infinity. And once again, we can see the function values approach zero, which is the value of the limit. Remember the limits at infinity indicate the end behavior of the function, which also indicate horizontal asymptotes. So for the second part of the question, we're asked to determine the equations of the vertical and horizontal asymptotes. We actually already sketched the vertical asymptotes in red. These are the vertical lines that the graph approach, but don't cross. The vertical asymptote on the left is x equals negative one. The vertical asymptote on the right is x equals two. The horizontal asymptote is the horizontal line the graph approaches, which again is indicated by the end behavior because the function values approach zero as x approaches infinity as well as negative infinity. The horizontal asymptote is the x-axis, which has an equation of y equals zero. I hope you found this helpful.